Hi, my name is Matt Wagner. I'm a mechanical designer at Omnitech Automation. I'd like to tell you about the latest project we just finished, which was a stainless steel material handling crane for a customer that processes superconducting wire. This project was unique for us in a number of ways. Uh, first of all, in that when customers typically think of Omnitech, they think of very fast, high precision, small parts, uh, very complex processes. This particular application was a little bit more industrial on the simple side, but nonetheless it showcases our, our capabilities as a machine builder to automate things from the simple and the industrial to the very small and the very complex. Um, this particular machine was used for processing super, superconducting wire. Um, and the work pieces were about 12 feet long and moved between four different troughs of different kinds of acids and rinse solutions. Uh, the customer was currently doing this project uh, as, a, in a, as a prototype um, type of layout by hand um, with operators actually re reaching over the, the acid troughs. Uh, we came in once they decided to go to full production uh, with this product and made them these units so they could run um, the much higher volumes and much safer conditions that they needed uh, to go to full production. Um, another design challenge that we had to meet uh, in doing this project was that this environment is not only very caustic because of the acid but uh, very explosive because there's alcohol fumes also present. Um, so anything we did needed to be explosion proof. It's a, a class 1, div 1 environment uh, for those of you familiar with that. Um, how we chose to meet these design challenges in a cost-effective way uh, was to go with all pneumatic both motion and logic um, which in the automation world is a bit of an old-school approach uh, in that not a lot of companies do all-air systems anymore uh, with you know uh, process valves, uh, and valves, uh, sequence valves, things of that nature. Um, we felt that in this particular case, although we don't do it all the time, it was the most appropriate and cost-effective solution that uh, was available for this project. And it actually enabled us to do this project for the customer, uh, whereas if we had gone with explosion-proof servos, uh, PLCs, things of that nature, uh, there's no way that we would have been able to meet the budgetary requirements the customer had. Uh, another design challenge with this project was that it's in a very corrosive environment. So all of our frame materials and commercial components that were exposed to the atmosphere in this room needed to be made of stainless steel or a, a, another corrosion resistant material. Um, we TIG welded all of our uh, frame weldments in-house using 304 stainless steel and any of the material handling work pieces that are actually down near the acid troughs we made of 316 corrosion resistant stainless steel. Um, all of the commercial items were sourced to be stainless which is a bit difficult at times but with our network of suppliers we didn't find it to be any kind of problem and overall we ended up with everything on the machine being very appropriate to be in the environment uh, that the customer required. Another aspect of this project was that we needed to coordinate with three different companies during the design of this machine. The first was Gannett Fleming, who designed the overall room that these material handling machines were going to be used in. They were the overseers of the first part of the project and the general designers for the first phase. The Henderson Corporation was the contractor doing the physical install and construction work in the room. And the end user was also involved in design reviews, uh, discussions about ergonomics, uh, what the push buttons needed to look like, uh, quick changeover requirements, and general operator friendliness type of requests. Another requirement of this project was that the machine needed to be able to be changed over between multiple different pro uh, product configurations using no tools at all and in a very short amount of time all while maintaining the corrosion resistance required to be near the acid baths. We accomplished this by using two quick release mechanisms. One pull pin that enabled the operators to move 
um, the workpiece holding brackets from location to location, and another quick release pin that goes through both brackets that attaches the end user's uh, workpiece holding cards to our workpiece attachment bar at the end of our system. The result of this is a changeover that can be done very quickly and with no tools. Overall, as a company, we were very pleased with how this project went. We feel that we gave the customer a solution which was very reliable, exactly what they needed, and not over-engineered. Uh, at Omnitech, we have the capabilities to do uh, very fast, complex, cutting-edge technology types of projects, but we also recognize the fact that that's not what every customer needs. And this is a very good example of our ability to be able to scale back the types of things that we do in order to provide the customer with a reliable and cost-effective solution.